हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इट इज द टॉपिक ऑफ फोटो सिंथेसिस इन माई टूर क्लासेस आई हैव टॉट यू अबाउट ऑटोट्रॉफिक एंड हेटोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन यू नो इन ऑटोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन ग्रीन प्लांट्स ऑन अदर ऑर्गेनिम्स मेक देयर ओन फूड एंड दे डू नॉट डिपेंड ऑन अदर ऑर्गेनिम्स इन हेटोट्रॉफिक टाइप ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन ऑर्गेनिम्स कैन नॉट मेक देयर ओन फूड and they depend on other organ for their food requirement you know during the process of autotrophic nutrition nutrition green plants make their own food but how how does green plant make their own food the process by which green plants make their own food is called photosynthesis so today just i have to study uh, we have to study about the process of photosynthesis what is photosynthesis can you give the answer <clears throat> listen you know photosynthesis is a process by which green plants make their own food but you can explain it how the process by which green plants make their own food by the use of some inorganic substances like carbon dioxide and water in the form of organic substances like glucose is called photosynthesis you know in the process of photosynthesis glucose is formed as a food glucose is a type of organic substance and in this process carbon dioxide water chlorophyll and sunlight are needed out of four things <coughs> carbon dioxide and water are the raw material and both are the example of organic substance also but rest two means chlorophyll and sunlight both act as a catalyst they are not raw material now <clears throat> since you know during the process of photosynthesis four things are needed so what are the functions of these substances today we have to see first of all we will take chlorophyll what is the function of chlorophyll chlorophyll traps sunlight means chlorophyll has the capacity to trap the sunlight next <clears throat> uh, sunlight what are the function of sunlight sunlight helps in the photolysis of water means it helps in the breaking of water molecule into oxygen and hydrogen if the breaking of water takes place through electric current then it is called electrolysis of water but if the breaking of water takes place through sunlight then it is called photolysis of water so sunlight helps in the photolysis of water and during the photolysis of water the water molecule breaks into hydrogen and oxygen this is the oxygen which is released by the green plants into the atmosphere through the stomata now we will see about the function of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide gets attached with the hydrogen and converts into glucose or we can say hydrogen reduces carbon dioxide into <coughs> just i am going to uh, repeat it again what is the function of chlorophyll chlorophyll traps the sunlight what is the function of sunlight sunlight helps in the breaking of water molecules what is the function of water molecule water molecules on breaking gives hydrogen and oxygen and what is the function of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide gets reduced into glucose now <coughs> this whole process of photosynthesis can be divided into two parts in which one is called light reaction whereas other is called dark reaction dark reaction is also known as black man reaction now we will see what is light reaction and what is dark reaction <coughs> after that just we will act, <coughs> differentiate both what is light reaction it is the first step of photosynthesis in which sunlight which is trapped by the chlorophyll breaks water into hydrogen and oxygen <coughs> but what is dark reaction dark reaction is the second step of photosynthesis in which <coughs> hydrogen which is released during the process of light reaction reduces carbon dioxide into glucose once again just i am going to differentiate both 
Light reaction is the first step of photosynthesis in which sunlight, which is trapped by the chlorophyll, breaks water into hydrogen and oxygen. But dark reaction is the second step of photosynthesis in which hydrogen, which is released during the process of light reaction, reduces carbon dioxide into hydrogen and oxygen. <coughs> second difference light reaction is completed into the granum or thalicoid of the chloroplast whereas dark reaction is completed into the stroma of the chloroplast <coughs> third difference for the process of light reaction light is needed but for the process of dark reaction there is no need of light just one thing <coughs> i'm going to say i have drawn here a rough diagram of chloroplast in chloroplast many disc like structures are present and these disc like structures are called thalicoid when these disc like structures get stuck on one another then they form a pillar like structure and this pillar like structure is called granum in a chloroplast 40 to 60 such granums are present and these granums are collectively known as granum inside the granum or thalicoid because granum is made of thalicoid Many small green colored structures are present and these green colored structures are called chlorophyll. Since chlorophyll is present inside the granum or thalicoid of the chloroplast, so the light reaction is also completed into that thalicoid or granum. But dark reaction is completed into the stroma of the chloroplast. What is stroma? It is jelly-like structure which is filled inside the chloroplast. Now, <clears throat> Some other facts just I will say about photosynthesis. <clears throat> during the process of photosynthesis, or you can say during the light reaction, first step of photosynthesis, NADP plus, what is the full power of NADP? Nicotinamide adenine dimethyltyp phosphate is reduced into NADPH. <clears throat> Second fact. During the process of photosynthesis, or we can say during the synthesis of glucose, carbon dioxide enters into a cyclic process in which a special type of reaction takes place. And this special type of reaction was discovered by Melvin Kelvin and Andrew Benson. So this pathway is also called Kelvin Benson pathway or cycle. <coughs> so just you have seen about the photosynthesis. One thing that I am going to say, in all cells of plant, the process of photosynthesis does not take place. The process of photosynthesis takes place only in the mesophyll cell. <coughs> mesophyll cell is a special type of cell which is present between the upper and lower epidermis of the green plants. Since inside the mesophyll cell only, Chlorophyll is present, so the process of photosynthesis is takes place only in mesophyll cells of the green plant. And I have said, except green plant, in many other organisms, the process of photosynthesis takes place. For example, green globin algae also. This is the rough diagram of chloroplast. <coughs> in class nine, we have already studied. It is surrounded by a double membrane structure in which one is called outer membrane whereas other is called inner membrane. The area which is surrounded by the double layer structure is filled with a jelly like structure that is called <coughs> stroma. I have not mentioned here, now I am going to mention it. It is called a stroma. It is called <coughs> outer membrane. <coughs> it is called inner membrane <coughs> and in the stroma many disc like structures are present which is called thalicoid and when this thalicoid gets stopped on one another then a pillar like structure is formed that is called granum <coughs> Okay, and all the granules are collected in the Now, 
After the process of photosynthesis, I have explained it. Photosynthesis. In the process of photosynthesis, we can say what happened. In the process of photosynthesis, uh, radiant energy, which is present in the sunlight, converts into chemical energy. Okay, so you can explain photosynthesis, or we can define photosynthesis by this also. Means it is a process in which the radiant energy of sunlight gets converted into the chemical energy, and that chemical chemical energy is stored in the parts of the plants. After that, <clears throat> means after the process of photosynthesis, we have to study about the nutrition which takes place in amoeba. I am going to say <clears throat> something about amoeba. What is amoeba? It is a type of protozoan. It is a unicellular uh, and aquatic unicellular structure having no particular shape. <clears throat> Means we can say it has irregular shape. What is the food of the amoeba? Amoeba feeds on a small pieces of diatoms, <coughs> bacteria, some small protozoans, and other organic substances. Now we will see in amoeba which type of nutrition takes place. In amoeba, holozoic type of nutrition takes place. <coughs> what is holozoic nutrition? I have taught you. And in this type of nutrition, five states are present. In which first is called ingestion, second is called digestion, third is called absorption, fourth is called assimilation, and fifth is called ejection. So, in amoeba, holozoic nutrition is completed into these five steps. <coughs> in which first is called ingestion. In amoeba, for the process of ingestion, there is no any particular organ. It always takes place in the <coughs> general or we can use through general body surface. It is or it takes place only in the direction of motion. Now we will see about digestion. In amoeba, the process of digestion takes place inside the food vacuum. And after that, Absorption <coughs> means uh, sorry, absorption. Some scientists say in amoeba the process of absorption does not take place. But if it takes place, then you can say during the <coughs> process of means after the completion of digestion, the digested food material which is present inside the uh, food vacuole comes into the cytoplasm. Okay, since Time is over, so we will continue my class, means our class next week.